You ready? Yep. All right. Um, where are we? We're on Pony Six. Six. Okay. Last time we did um, the pelt, and we got some wrapping and color on the legs. Um, I off camera put a little bit of heather or oatmeal, like the lightest gray, um, to blend the leg color to the, the body color. So just depending on which color pony you're making, um, just play with your detail colors that are in the small bag and, you know, now is the time to make the legs the colors that you want. So, um, you should do that. Very, very small amounts. You want to, it doesn't take much to color it, so you don't want it to get all fat. You want to keep them skinny. So this time we're going to build their cute little faces. Um, and it's just a matter of piecing together shapes. So I'm going to zoom in um, to get started. Did you have any important news? It's cold. It's very cold. We both have our scarves on. Yes, I had to wear my mittens and scarf. <laughs> Freezing. Yeah. It's how many degrees? Uh, wind chill below zero. Yeah, very Ridiculous. cold. Ridiculous. Your butt's cold, huh? Oh, it's bad. <laughs> All right, let's okay. get to it. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is make the cheek, which is a very simple half circle. And then if you want to be fancy, you shape where the fringe usually is. So like here's a half circle with fringe. Um, this is the upper lip. But we're going to shape part of it to create the, I don't know what the bone is, but they, they have like a cheek cheekbone, I guess, right here. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, this is what we're going for. It's not, it's about an inch in diameter, the half circle, because it's going to go right here on the side of the pony's face. So to make it, we take our core wool and just pull about a two inch piece straight off without splitting it or anything and then try to pull that into two even basically little squares like that and I'm gonna put them horizontally on my work surface and draw into it the semicircle so it's the size of about a nickel it's going to end up probably being more like a quarter, but shoot for nickel. And then, let's see, I'll go ahead and do both. So we drew a little semicircle, and then fold the edge um, at the tip of the circle in, and then just follow that circle around. Oh, this is ending up a little wimpy like not quite thick enough. So I'm actually going to kind of keep encouraging it in to thicken it up. You feeling okay? Yes, I'm just sniffly yeah, from, you've got the from the cold. Well, that's no good. Don't worry, I won't I won't snot on you. I've snotted on you before, so you've only... <laughs> You've done worse than that on me. We, we don't have to talk about that on camera. <laughs> okay, so the second one... I'm going to put my circle back a little farther because I want to get more of this wool into there. So I'm folding that back in and then following the semicircle and creating that half circle. So to make the cheekbone, this requires a little bit of thinking about what's going where. If this half circle is going on this cheek, then I'm going to fold this part down and kind of felt that just 
kind of sculpt that into a little bit of a point there. So on the other one, it would be opposite. What's you that? need a little something to wipe your nose. What's that? You keep tissues in your mittens? Well, it's wool, it's but wool. It, it, that, that doesn't work? I don't think so. What do you use? I use tissues. Oh, okay. You have any of those? Nope. I do. I'll do the other one. And then to put this on, you want it to come right at the back of the head near the neck and then about halfway down the, um, towards the nose, about halfway down. Get them on so you can see where they go and what they look like. It looks a little kind of large on there for now until we get the rest of the face. See how I'm coming down on this cheekbone to really sculpt it? Okay. That's how it looks. That's how it looks from the front and the other side. So two half circles, basically, with folding this in to create that bone. The next thing we need to make is um, just a sort of biscuit or hamburger bun shape for... Ooh, biscuits. Yeah. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> and hamburger buns. <laughs> for the eyes. Um, I like to... You can make them out of gray or the heather gray. Because um, on the dapple grays, or even the, um, even the chestnut and bay colors. Um, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of that dark gray around the eye. Just, just up to you. So this is taking the, the gray and then pulling not as much as we did for the cheek. Let's pull what was that? That's the noise. I almost <laughs> wanted to bark again. <laughs> so I pulled a full kind of width of piece off of the gray roving and it's about an inch and a half and I'm going to split it in half. So now I have two sort of three quarter inch squares. It doesn't matter how you put them on your uh, felting surface because you're just going to you're just going to make a little circle and take everything from the outside in. We've done this on almost every animal that we've made. So, um, and go for biscuits, not pancakes. Also like the pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> you mean don't make them flat. Don't make them flat. Exactly. Make them... Puffy. Poofy. Poofy. You say poofy, I say puffy. <laughs> okay, and then once we have those, they're going to go just above the cheekbone. Kind of bring top side around onto the forehead and the bottom side into the cheek and it's kind of good that these are a different color because once I get them on and hold it up you'll be able to see really where this shape is because we're going to felt the eye kind of into it the ponies their eyes are set wide on the sides of their heads there it's looking a little bit Martian-y at the moment you said it, not me. Right. <laughs> Important during this process to refer to pictures. I know you're following me step by step, but every once in a while, pause your video, go to your other tab, which I'm sure is open to Google Images, Welsh ponies, or Shetland ponies, and check it out, because that's gonna, really going to help you understand how to shape the pieces. So we need to make a little chin. Um, I just want to get a bump of wool down there where his chin is and I'm going to do that the same way that I just did this one. Actually, 
to save time, I'm going to use a piece I already made. So same thing as the eye, but this time you only need one. And this you can make a little, little tighter or a little smaller. You're just trying to get a bump under his chin. So I turn him over. This might be a job for the single needle. Just lets you really target the wool. If you play your cards right, you could almost make that into the lower lip too, but I'm going to show you another step for that. Um, I can tell that my pony is too skinny right here, right, um, you know, where the cheekbones end. And so I'm going to take some off white and just wrap that. You might not need this step, but I just wanted to show you in case you do. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my core wool and get a little bit more meat on here as my Biscuits, Sifu would meat, say. <laughs> and cake. You're killing me. That's better. It just was too too skinny. Okay. So the next step is the upper lip, um, which is a simple half circle, sort of a ghost, call this a ghost shape. And it needs to be wide enough that it's going to come down to where their lip ends. Um, and then the fringe of it is just going to come back and blend into the cheeks and the, and the forehead. So to make this shape, take some core wool, lay it down, and about a square inch, just sort of evening it out here. And then the dapple grays, you can layer your um, extra bits to create a, a dark tip. You can go real dark on the lip and then put some medium gray to blend it. Um, on the bays and chestnut and buckskin, you can do this too, or you can just, on the chestnut, maybe use more of the chestnut uh, top coat color. And on the white horse, I would keep it more white. Not quite as much dark, but like I said, it's up to you. Um, so I've got my colors layered, and I'm going to flip it over. So after the core wool, the colors, it's just a thin amount. It's not a whole another thick layer. It's just enough to color it. So I'm going to draw the half circle. This time it is more like a quarter, a big quarter. And then fold the edges around to create a nice finished edge. This is the, the pony's upper lip, so you want it to be pretty well finished, meaning rolled in and felted. I'm going to use this tool. These are the basic shapes. Once you get them on, it's going to take um, some time with your needle to sculpt them into place. But if you make your finished edges finished and your fringy edges, leave them, that's just a little bit long, um, so that they blend nicely, you're going to be able to needle felt them into the shapes that you need. So for now, I'm kind of just kind of tack this on. I'm not going to go crazy because I want to get that lower lip on and see what needs to go where. Don't be too uh, fussy about. Let things overlap a little. That's what that's what makes it look look natural. Okay, so I haven't shaped this at all. It looks like a great big kind of platypus at the moment, but um, that's where you are right now. So let me do the lower lip. It's the same method, just not quite as much.
Can you can you fill the dead space? Well, I'm thinking about another joke. Are you ready? I'm ready. What do you say to a sad pony? I don't know what. Why the long face? Uh, <laughs> I should have known that one. I didn't see that. I didn't see that coming. Good. I don't like it when you take my punchline. <laughs> That's all I got. Okay. I'll start talking. Okay. So, same thing. It's just not quite as wide. Not as much wool. Not as wide. And it's going to go underneath. And it's going to cover that little chin bump that we made. And kind of with your needle be felted and sculpted. You can come at your cheekbones from this angle too underneath because they might be kind of hanging down a little bit long. Oh this pony is looking really scary right now. You're really close Milo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm trying, trying to snuggle. It's cold. <laughs> Oh boy. Don't lose faith in me. Never. Because my pony looks really scary. Which I'm pretty sure means <laughs> that your pony looks really scary. But I can see it. I can see where we're headed. Okay. Terrifying. Does not look like this yet. But it will. How are we going to go from here to there? Uh, I hope you know the answer to that question. <laughs> I do too. This is what happened in the class. We got to this point and I just was like, well, good luck. Well, that's not great. No, we'll get there. It's oh, good. Just, just there's not a magic formula. Okay. The next step is to take some either white or chestnut, you know, whatever your top coat color is, and put some over the bridge of the nose here to get rid of this seam where, um, where the two lip shapes meet. So I'm going to take some of my white to do that, and I might need to re-blend once I put this on. But I'm just, I'm just laying it over the top, and then felting it. Hey, I should have put some white on the cheeks. I was not thinking clearly today, Milo. At least you can talk. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier was a problem. I was having a hard time communicating. I think you're doing great. Okay, thanks. Good. I needed a little bit of encouragement. Okay. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Okay, getting better. Now, let's put our eyes in, because that's also going to help us determine what else we need to do. So I'm going to take the black black and pull um, not as much as you think. I don't know how much you think, but not that much. It's like just a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you bundled that up. It's like a half inch. And then it helps if you have any U smooth, which I sort of do, um, to put some on your hands. Because what we're going to do is roll it in our hands. And the U smooth helps it grip. And I'm pressing pretty firmly. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. Dogs? Dogs? I think it's a term for cows, doggies. Because then they say, don't try to understand them, just rope throw and brand them. Well, that's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> Could you imagine? No. I can't imagine you out on the, uh, the well, planes. I don't, I don't like the roping, the branding. <laughs> 
So after you've rolled, uh, I roll and stuff. Yeah. Then you go back and forth, and you're gonna end up with two little sunflower seeds. These it might be a little bit large, but hey, I will show you how to deal with that. So the eyes go on the side, kind of set into that bump that we made. You see, I'm going to start this and then I'll turn it over so that you guys can see it. And with my needle, I shape it as I go by coming in on the edges, pushing it where I want it to be. This is a pretty strong needle, so that's what you need to get this job done here. One of the hardest things in needle felting, I think, is to keep things symmetrical. If you were completely ambidextrous, that would be helpful. Milo, you can't even use one of your arms. What, what do you mean? Well, you only have like one arm that works. Kind of. <laughs> my, my leg is kind of falling asleep, actually. <laughs> I bet. I feel like I'm kind of falling, falling over. I could take a nap. I'm good at that. You can take a nap. I'll wake you up if we need you. Okay. We have eyes. Can you see? Make yours better than mine. That's my, that's my big advice right now. I'm not sure how helpful that is. <laughs> okay, so my pony needs things. One of the things he needs is an eyebrow, and I'm going to do that with the, uh, with the heather because I don't want it to be quite as dark gray as I have there. So I'm going to roll two more seeds in my hands. Can I not sing that branding song again? I don't know. I just won't sing. It's probably a good idea if I just don't sing in general. Well, I like it. it just, the song was a little violent. Maybe we can dance, Milo. I hope so. All I right. can dance. All right. That would be fun. So I'm going to put these over his eye to create a little bit more of a pony eyebrow here. This is the reason that this project is not for beginners because it takes takes practice to know what needs to go where. Okay, getting better. Getting better. Nostrils are going to go a long way. Nostrils are the same thing. Two little seeds. Make them out of whatever color matches your pony's... Uh, I'll use a dark gray. So two more little seeds for the nostrils. These are important to roll really tight and maybe a little bit longer, not quite so. Spend another extra second on the back and forth part and not the circular part. Okay. Oh, I think that's too big. If they're too big, start over. Uh -oh. <laughs> That was a waste of 20 seconds Well, of YouTube, valuable YouTube time. It's, it's free. It's free. <laughs> People can watch me. Perfect opportunity. Right, right. More Milo time is Just good. Just gaze upon me. So look at a picture to understand where these are going. And then you're going to use your needle to shape it in a little C. I need not quite such a strong needle. All 
I wonder if we're going to have time for the ears. I hope so. Ears are important. Yeah, I think we can do it. We'll get these on, and we'll do the ears, and then I will miraculously felt off camera. <laughs> okay, he's looking, he really is looking better. I can see what I need to do. I need to just make his muzzle a little tighter, a little smaller. Get that chin felted properly. Am I in your way? No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> that that could be reported, you know. Okay. Hey, not bad. We're getting there. Um, ears. Ears are a piece of cake. Oh, cake, biscuits, oh, pancakes. Goodness, what's with the with the food references? Okay, for the ears. We want small, small amounts of core wool, little, little half inch, three quarter inch. It's really hard to make the ears as small as they need to be. Let me tell you, they always end up too big. And then layer your, um, we're doing this horizontally. Put your little tip colors on if you have them or want them. Really, really small amounts. And then I'm putting a little bit of white at the base. When I lay out my colors, sometimes I, I felt from the top just to make sure everything stays where I want it. And then I flip it over. And all we want to do here, your tip of your ear is away from you. And you want to just draw that almond shape in there. And then fold the wool in to follow the almond shape. And leave the bottom fringy because that's how you're going to attach it to the pony. What? Almonds are food too. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to snack. Go have some snacks or out to dinner. Oh, I would love to take you out to dinner, my love. That would be a scene. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, dogs aren't allowed in a lot of restaurants. I would like to have some words about where dogs are allowed <laughs> and not. Maybe we can um, take advantage of our YouTube channel to give you an opportunity to speak on that. I mean, why? No dogs allowed. Well, Snoopy and the Peanuts did a whole episode about that. He couldn't go visit his friend in the hospital? It was tragic. You have to become a licensed, certified therapy dog. Is that hard? I, I don't know. I've never tried it. I, I have some friends who do it. I have to be probably very well behaved. Yes. That might be a problem. After I make my ear, I'm going to fold it and stab it to keep it folded like a little taco. And then you use this fringe to attach it. Fold it, stab it, fringe it, attach it. These aren't my best. Not my best ears. Don't be hard on yourself. Those weren't my best ears. Okay. This is going to help, too. So just set them down. Get that fringe spread out. And felt that ear on. Okay, I'm going to do the other one off camera. Because we're running out of time. We'll be back. Okay, my... Pony needs a couple things, and maybe yours does and or doesn't. Um, at this point, we might be kind of different. But I'm going to put a little lower lid, which is also just another little seed shape. Um, I'm also going to 
Um, I need more white across his forehead and that's going to help fill that area out as well as blend what colors are going on there. Um, if your pony's nose is too dished here, like just there's maybe just not enough there, you can make two more of these little seed shapes and put one, here I'll show you with my eye, it would be a little bigger, but put them kind of here and here, two of them. They do sort of have a, like a bridge to their nose there. Um, let's see, these are going under the eye. Maybe I'll actually do that so you guys can see it. He just, his little eyes were sticking out in space a little bit much. And then I'll use um, some detail colors to blend all these different colors together. On the chestnut and bays, I kind of think it's neat to have some dark gray around their eyes because um, their fur gets thin, thin there. And then the idea with the bridge of the nose, I'll do it in core wool and then cover it with some white again, is to make um, these kind of noodle shapes. Ooh, I warmed my hands up when I did that. Ooh. <laughs> I could heal you. Like Karate Kid? All right. So you could put two um, of these shapes on the bridge of the nose. They do that. And that just helps pull the nose and the eye socket area together and they, they do have that so one their nose just kind of widens as it goes back towards their eyes and it gives that little ridge in the center puts a little ridge in the center right there. So to blend that I'm going to take some white, just a little thin bit, and lay it over top. Oh that looks better. He's looking more like a, more like a horse, less like a camel. Cheaper than pony rides. Is this a joke? You decide. <laughs> I don't know why. Because elephants work for peanuts. Oh. <laughs> kind of a bad one. All right, Milo. I think we've done all we can do here. I think I'm going to do a little bit more. And we'll come back and film how to do the mane and then finish the neck. Um, off camera, I'm going to use some top coat here. Just fill that space out a little bit and blend that all together. Okay, he's looking a little better. He's going to look even better once he has his forelock and mane. But um, all I did was put some wool over his forehead and blend around the eyes and just using my needle just kind of kept shaping and sculpting and and getting his face cuter cuter more better okay so all we have left is um putting kind of the the, the top coat on the neck and getting the mane and um tail done so one more video that was a long one Almost done though. Yes, almost done. Oh, and the dapples. We can do that all in one. We'll see you next time.